Hello, Jana here, and what I'm going to do is, in this video, show you very quickly how to make a drop-down list if you are making a form in either Kobo Toolbox or ODK um, using XLS form. So you're making your questionnaire in Excel. Where I'm going to start is just taking you directly into my Excel form. And you can see here that um, we have just a few columns we need to fill out. So under type, you want to make a select underscore one. So that's the type of the question we want to ask. And then we're going to give that um, uh, indicate which choice list we want it to take from. So we're going to call it select one from the interviewer choice list. Um, now, if you go here down to the bottom, there's a tab called choices. And in, in here, you'll actually see that there's a list name named interviewer okay so that's where we've said select one and then we've left a space from interviewer and then we've actually named this variable interviewer itself our question so this is the question that will show up on our um, device or smartphone is what is the interviewer name if you have a second language you can actually put a second label here so i've just added um, uh, a translated question uh, is it required so you can say yes it's required and that's about it um, what I like to do is have a follow-up question especially when I'm asking something like an interviewer name for others so from my choice list you can actually see that I've added other okay so uh, maybe it's a temporary interviewer has come in for the day and his name isn't on the list so he can choose other and then when he chooses other, we'll just ask a follow-up question. What is your other name? Um, and under the relevant column, we just put that they selected other from the interviewer um, question. And then they'll be able to enter a text response. Um, now, I've also just copied and pasted this question. I've asked, so I'm asking it a second time. But this time I'm going to... Um, make it a drop down list. So under the column name appearance, if you put the word minimal um, beside this question, so select one interviewer, um, if you put appearance minimal, it will actually have a different appearance. So if we go on over to my ODK sheet and I click on fill blank form, um, and you can see here it is. Uh, there's the same questionnaire. So you can see from the first question, um, you can see it, it shows up as five little dots. So like I said, if I choose the first name there and scroll forward, it will then skip the other question. If I say other and go forward, it will just ask me what is the other name. So I can actually enter my name there and go forward. Um, and you can see here, this is exactly the same question as the first question, but you don't see the little radio buttons and on all the options, it's just minimized. So if you tap on select one answer, actually you can see the list come up on there. And then from there, you can tap the name and then you can swipe forward. And that's the end of the questionnaire. So you can kind of just see the difference between um, if your appearance is minimal or your appearance is not minimal, um, if you leave that blank, and you can also see how to add a follow-up question. If I just swipe um, back to the beginning and tap the little three little dots in the upper right hand um, corner, I can tap change language and I could go to the Arabic version and you can see then actually we can see all of those um, questions in uh, the other language. So I showed you how um, those columns existed. So I hope that really helps how to make a drop down list in ODK in the XLS form, what it looks like in the Excel version and what it looks like on your ODK um, Collect app. Uh, if you like this video and if you want to hear more from me, then please subscribe to my channel. Just hit that little button, subscribe, and you'll hear from me with lots more tips about humanitarian data management. Thanks, have a great day.